There's no doubt about this. YouTube has money. YouTube can pay you handsomely. But making money on the internet is not as easy as many has portrayed it. They make you believe that you can become a millionaire overnight without doing anything. You wake up to see a Lambo to your name. It doesn't work that way. Just like any other job, you need to work hard first before you earn and even before you start working smart. Yeah, it's been a while I've talked about money on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how much YouTube paid for about 5 minutes long video on this channel with over 200,000 views and how YouTube pay content creators and if it is worth starting a YouTube channel at this time. So you are welcome if you are new to this channel. I do share tips and tutorials for content creators on this channel. So if you love this type of video, consider subscribing. I have a lot to share here. In our community, I asked you how much YouTube will pay for 200,000 views. 500, 1,005 or $3,000? And this was your response. Many of you voted for 500. You will know if you guys are correct at the end of this video. My wish is that many of you working so hard to attain success on this platform will be exposed to a speedy one. And if you have issues with AdSense or find it difficult to link to your YouTube channel, I have a good number of videos that will help you. So check their links in the description later. Starting a YouTube channel is easy. With a few clicks, your channel is up and ready for you to share your content with the world. But the problem lies with moving it to the next level. It might take an average YouTube channel that is consistent up to one year to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 public watch time hours required to join the YouTube Partner Program. So if you got it earlier than this, then you are a genius. After being accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, Google, the owners of YouTube, will allow you to place ads in your videos of which they will pay you for every 1,000 ads impressions. In the coming video, I will share some insightful data on how you can speculate how many videos or views that you need to get 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 public watch time. So do subscribe if you haven't and I will appreciate a thumbs up for this video at this point. The number of views on a video does not determine how much YouTube will pay for it, but how much advertisers spend on ads placed on the video and the amount varies significantly from entertainment videos to educational ones and the country the viewers are watching from. For example, I have two videos here. This one got 94,900 views and generated $225.01. The second video got 16,500 views but generated $220.28. Just $5 difference. Which means if this video gets over 90,000 views just like the former one, it will generate over $1,300. You can see the difference. Now here's the video with over 200,000 views. As I said earlier, YouTube's earning depends on how much advertisers pay for ads on a video. And on the revenue tab, we have the CPM, that is how much it costs advertisers to place 1,000 ads on this video. For every 1,000 ads placed on this video, advertisers paid $14.33. The funny thing about this amount is that there's no way you can manipulate it to increase or decrease. The amount is controlled by the advertiser's market or how much they bid to place their ads on the video. The ROPM is beside the CPM. It stands for revenue per 1,000 views, which is $7.26. This is the amount YouTubers actually get paid for every 1,000 views. Each time their video gets 1,000 views, they receive the amount they see here on their analytics. You can manipulate this amount by adding more ads to a video that is over 8 minutes long. The more ads are seen on a single video, the higher the ROPM. At this point, I will place an ad on this video so that you can understand what it means to place an ad on a video. If you saw an ad a second ago and you skip it, let me know in the comment section. Imagine if this video was 20 minutes long and I place ads on it every 5, 5 seconds. That would be like 5 ads on the video. And if all that viewed it watched the video to the end and the ads played as expected, the ROPM of the video would be 5 times higher, meaning that it would be up from $7 to $35 for every 1000 views. The geography and location where the audience are watching from also determines how much YouTubers earn from their videos. For example, if a minimum of 40% of your audience are from developed countries, 
you will probably be among the most paid in your niche. This video got many views from the audience in the United States, the Philippines, India, Nigeria, and the UK. It also had an impact on the revenue of this video. So if you are planning to start a YouTube channel, please put all this into consideration. Your content matters, but the audience is king. To get many views on a video, YouTube has to recommend it to the audience interested in it. So when making videos, have in mind what the targeted audience will be like, because if you create videos that only you love watching, it might end up not be seen by many people. YouTube sharing or recommending your videos to people is called impressions. And for your videos to gain more impressions, the video's thumbnail must be appealing. This leads to another metric called click-through rate. For your video to have that potential to go viral, its click-through rate should at some point hit the double digit. I'm very sure that many of you know what click-through rate is. It is the rate at which people are clicking on your video's thumbnail. And if the number is rising, it's a sign that more people are clicking on your videos. And YouTube loves this so much. So for a detailed explanation on what click-through rate is, check the video's link in the description. If your video will get a good number of views or go viral, in most cases, it's through YouTube recommending your videos in search results or suggesting it to potential viewers. If no one knows you, you are not a famous personality or celebrity, it's just only you, your family, friends and associates, and you are starting on YouTube, begin by creating searchable content or relatable content that your targeted audience will be willing to watch. That is the only way you can be exposed to a broader audience. For this video, most of the views came through YouTube search, which implies that YouTube recommends this video to people searching for the related topic. So if you intend to start a YouTube channel in gaming, comedy, lifestyle, or vlog, name it, at intervals, always create searchable content in form of what people are looking for at a particular time in your niche, or better still, evergreen content. This type of videos will bring in more views and income as they age. So this video was viewed 215,500 times, watched for over 7,000 hours, and 4,500 viewers subscribed to this channel through this video. Thank you guys for believing in my tips and tutorial. And the video generated $1,563.24. Is this amount worth it? Let me know in the comment section. So starting a YouTube channel at this time is never too late. Why many people are flooding into the platform? Many more are giving up quickly because they can't be patient or probably the stress isn't worth it. I need to add there that you don't need to wait until you join the YouTube Partner Program before you start making money on YouTube. Some channels are making reasonable sums through affiliate marketing, brand deals, selling their courses and many more. So if you consider your channel as a medium to building your business or brand without depending on AdSense, that would be an excellent perspective. Like I always tell my co-creators that the small YouTubers of today will be the big YouTubers of tomorrow. So if you want your dream to come true, it will only take time if you do the proper work. If you started your YouTube channel recently, I would love to know how the journey has been so far. And if you want to start a YouTube channel, watch this video for easy, quick and detailed steps on how to create a YouTube channel. And if you love getting tips like this for content creators, subscribe if you haven't. So let's discuss more in the comment section. See you soon.